Hi oh YouTube, my name is Dexter and welcome back to Dark Souls. If you're wondering where I am, I am after the Colosseum where you fight Artorius of the Abyss. Or, or rather, Night Walk Night Artorius, there we go. Abyss Walker, Night Artorius, whatever you want to call him. Uh, we had a grand old bout of uh, slapping each other with great swords. A great, great sword fight, if you would. Uh, now, I have his soul, and I will read it to you. Um, I've also done a lot of running around off camera. Like before, I read all this. I'm gonna tell you this right now. I had about a two-hour session playing off camera that I thought I was. I thought I was recording. So there was a couple videos in there that I thought I had made but didn't actually. So um, I have done pretty much everything in here except for fight two bosses. There's two bosses left. There's the uh, there's the final boss of this area. Uh, who I referenced in one of my Dark Souls 2 playthroughs, uh, or one of my Dark Souls 2 episodes, uh, when I was fighting through the Crown of the Sunken King pack, I, uh, mentioned a fellow by the name of Manus, Father of the Abyss. He is the final boss of this area. Then there's another optional boss that you can go off and fight if you do it, if you get... I don't know how exactly it works, but if you, um... There's another character, I don't remember how exactly you get him to do it, but there's another character you meet in here called Hawkeye Goff, who is one of four uh, knights in the, uh, like, basically in a king, uh, oh shoot, what's his name, in Lord Gwyn's court, there we go. Um, kind of like the, they're kind of like the knights of Sir, of King Arthur, only instead of being like 12 or 13 of them, there's four. <laughs> uh, and then there's Gwyn himself. So yeah, uh, Soul of Artorius. Soul of Knight Artorius, Victim of the Abyss. Uh, Gwyn's Lord Knight Artorius, who was consumed by the Abyss. The legend that Artorius repelled the Abyss only told half of the story. It seems that he was defeated and his honor preserved by some unsung hero who was the true victor over the Abyss. Otherwise known as this guy. Uh, this is, um, one of Artorius' best friends. Um, named the Lord's Blade Karen, I believe? What is it? Have you changed... Um, you can give her the soul of Artorias, and she will give you a, a dagger of her, uh, or like one of her daggers, and it's the only way to get that dagger. Or you can keep Artorias's cursed, or you can keep, yeah, cursed soul to get a, um, or not cursed soul, you can keep Artorias's soul to get a, um, a, uh, very strong, very powerful greatsword. One of three different variations of Artorias's sword. Um, there's one that, like, is... One that is fine, one that is like how his sword actually behaves. Um, then you can get with this cursed soul, or this uh, this uh, corrupted soul, not cursed, you can get a corrupted version of his greatsword, which is what he uses to slap you with when you go fight him. Or you can get a third variation that is cursed. Um, but the thing about all of his souls is that they all require, or all of his swords all require you to have 20 of every stat to equip them. Uh, to use them properly. You need 20 uh, strength, dexterity, intelligence, and faith to use it, even though only one of them actually does any magic damage. Um, but yeah, I, I, I have run pretty much the entire way through the entirety of this place, which is called the Ulysseal Township. I've also been invaded by a fellow named uh, Marvelous Chester, who, uh, just a grand old fellow. We had a grand time talking to each other, and he tried to murder me. Um, he's basically every character from Bloodborne. So I'm gonna step on this. There's also a, um, <coughs> a, uh, little, um, a shortcut that I, uh, or not a shortcut, well, there are tons of shortcuts in here, but that's not what I meant. Um, there are a bunch of, um, uh, <coughs> little, uh, areas you can find in here. I, yeah, okay, um, yeah, this, well, this is kind of where I wanted to be. It's not exactly where it is, where I want, but it, it, it'll do. Um, there are a bunch of um. Oh yeah, I need my uh, my my bow. I'm probably gonna get shot by a uh, a uh, b -b 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 whatever it is there. A okay, nope. Uh, if you see over there those glowing red eyes, the two on the stairs can use magic, and they do a ton of damage. This game is where hexes came from. Um. I've been through, like, I, I've gotten to the boss of this area, but it wasn't recorded. Um, I also found the one thing, uh, or I couldn't find the one thing I wanted to show you all. Uh, oh, okay, he is just going to show up. Excellent. Um, there's a, you can interact with um, uh, Artorius' pet in this area. And if you find it before you go fight him in the main game, 
there it, it alters the cutscene that plays ever so slightly and makes me super sad. Um Oh hello, what are you? I guess I wasn't everywhere in here. But yeah, um the cutscene that plays after you uh find Artorius's pet in the abyss uh makes me super sad. And I uh, I don't I don't want to do it, but I'm going to. I don't want to Oh god. I forgot about that. Okay, I rolled the wrong direction for no reason. Um, but yeah, these things, these things are basically just hexers, um, without actually having dark magic exist. Um, in this game, uh, the hexes, there's four or five of them, and I've got three or four. I I'm missing one of them, I believe. Um, but I do have the, str oh, uh, did that cast? No. I do have the strongest spell in the game, though. Uh, it's called Dark Bead, and if you're at point-blank range, it's a shotgun blast that can kill just about anybody. Um... The way the dark spells in this game work is that they uh, they do physical damage, incredibly high physical damage, and that guy over there I don't want to fight. Um, he's just a big I don't even know what he is. He's just like a big corrupted malformed dude tied to a post with rocks and shit that he swings at you. So we're just gonna try and run past him. I fought him once. I didn't enjoy it. We're just gonna run past him. We're just we're we're leaving him in the dust. Um. Uh, maybe not. Maybe he's gonna come and knock us into the pit. I hope not. There we go. Okay, see you. Bye. I'm out. See you, big guy. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So, we get really, really deep in here. Uh, it goes, the chasm of the abyss is a very dark and terrible place, and I'm going to wear my sunlight magnet for the duration of this area. Um, because <coughs> I like being able to see. Go figure. Um, and I don't know why my frame rate's cut off every time around here. There's like, it's, it's trying, basically, I don't, I don't know why, but it's like trying to load everything even though there's nothing. Um, but yeah, we are in the chasm of the abyss, and I wanted to go find my friend Sif the Great Grey Wolf, only this time he's a, it's not great, but he's a puppy, and he's adorable. Um, but yeah, you can find Sif in here. Um, if you find Sif, you can get Artorius' uh, I don't know why the frame rate drops. Uh, but yeah, you can, uh, you can go get Artorius' Great Shield, uh, basically for free. Um, but yeah, these are also the things I wanted to go hang out with, uh, when I was talking about going to grind for, um, uh, uh, humanity from the Abyss. Uh, these things drop humanity sprites like it's going out of style. And it's hilarious, although they're terrifying and make that weird-ass high-pitched whine that you hear. That is them. Uh, the different variations of them produce different tones. There's an even bigger version than all these guys, and they just like it, it's a really like it's almost like a rumbling sound. Like they're it's so low pitched it almost rumbles at you. Um, but yeah, they're also really weird to fight because all they have to do is walk at you to hurt you. And well, I say walk, but that's being generous. It's more like float menacingly towards you. But yeah. Uh, the tale, the, the lore goes that these things are humanity sprites that have been affected by the dark of the abyss spread by Manus. Um, who, uh, holy hell, what, j oh, right, I know, it just took all my health. Uh, <laughs> I was gonna say, that little guy shouldn't have done that much, but I know what it was. Uh, I got, I heard the, I heard the cackle. But yeah, there was a, uh, there's a, um, normally a, uh, platform here that you can, uh, ah, I'm dead. I'm not dead, okay. Normally, there's a platform there that breaks when you have this light or have a light out and a uh, enchanted bit of the floor that reduces falling damage. Um, they're a big fan of that in this area. They're a really big fan of a uh, like. There's a couple doors that I have found that will only open like they're hidden walls, but they'll only open if you have a uh, a light source. Um, so that's why I always wear this thing, um, or wear the sunlight maggot rather. Um. And normally when you're running through here, there are, like, apparitions of Alvina, the, the cat thing from the forest, um, <clears throat> that'll show up in a, uh, yeah, they, they, they show up, and if you get clo too close to them, they, uh, they disappear. Uh, they lead you off to a wall behind me. They lead you off to, uh, basically to the right of those, uh, those lights over there. Twin Humanities, alrighty. 
Uh, they lead you off to the right of this, like, they lead you, like, right here. And apparently, if you hit this wall, shazam! Uh, another pathway. And that gold ring there is, uh, Artorius' wolf, Sif. Oh, what'd you drop? I know what you drop, but what'd you drop? We're throwing firebombs at you! Ha! And you are not burned by the, the lava, gotcha. Whatever, you still you still burn by my sword, so I'm okay with that. But yeah, that's uh that that right there is the great grey wolf Sith being protected by Artorius's great shield. A grand old time had by all. Um oh and he's got a little sword in his mouth. Aw. How cute is that? Okay, see you big guy. Hey wolf. What do I do? How do I how do I do this? Oh, I just kill everything. Hey wolf! You're welcome. Cleansing Great Shield. Now, let's see what's special about it. The Cleansing Great Shield, I don't have the strength to use it. Steel Great Shield used by Knight Artorius, who succumbed to the Abyss. Artorius, deeply scarred by the Abyss, used this to form a barrier to protect his, er, his compatriot, Sith. Although this drained the shield, its magic defense remains high. So yeah, it's basically a more stable version of my Dark Hand. Uh, minus lightning resistance. So there we go. That's uh, that's that's Sif saved, and I'm really happy about that. Why the hell? Come on. It, this shouldn't be this bad. I was walking. Whatever. It was fine one way, but I guess going out is a uh, completely uh in like incomprehensible. But yeah, um, that's that's Sif saved. So now all I have left to do is go fight Calamite, the Black Dragon of Calamity. Or I can go fight Manus, Father of the Abyss, and neither option sounds agreeable. Neither option is agreeable. Um, bring it on, big guy. Okay, you know what? Don't bring it on. Stay away from me. Don't don't take that much health from me again, please. That hurt. Um, but yeah, uh, humanity sprites, humanity phantoms, whatever you want to call them. Humanity enemies. They're terrifying, and I don't like them. Um. But it, uh, pays homage, not homage, but it basically, like, yeah, these things just were humanity sprites that were, uh, consumed by the Abyss and drove insane. Which is what basically every enemy in here is. Like, everything in this area is a resident of Ulusil that has been driven mad by Manus's uh, darkness. Um, and, like, corrupted beyond all natural, like, recognition. Um, I even have one of those, uh, weird long-armed fellows heads. I hear something stomping at me. I don't appreciate it. Um, yeah, I have a, I have a head, a bloated head. The head of an Ulusil resident whose humanity went wild after being devoured by the Dark of Manus, father of the Abyss. The bloated head is fissured, the cracks lined with innumerable tiny red eyeballs, with a heart outside and mucus filled inside, no sane person could ever wear it. Joke's on you, because I wear it sometimes when I think it's funny. Um, I thought it was funny when I first got it. Um, and I still think it's kind of funny, but uh, I don't recommend wearing it all the time because it's not that great of protective gear. If you needed me to tell you that. Um, but yeah, I don't know who left all these little, uh, all these little, uh, blah, 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 whatever you call those things. I don't know who left all those there, but I appreciate them. Whoever you were, thank you. You're doing God's work. And now for you. Burn in the fire! Bah! Oh, I missed shit. Burn! Ha <laughs> ha! I probably shouldn't have thrown my great chaos fireball, but I did. I'm gonna go grab this humanity phantom. That is mine. Oh, twin humanities! Thank you! Thank you, little monster. But yeah, this is why I wanted to, uh, go get all of, uh, I wanted to get here before I got too far in, uh, the main storyline, because I wanted to save our, uh, Solaire, which I did, and I'm happy about that. You all saw it. You all saw me. Well, I mean, yeah, you kind of, like, quote-unquote, save him. Now he's just sitting where the Sunlight Maggot should be and moping, instead of sitting there and trying to kill me. Um, but yeah, down this path leads to Manus, and, <coughs> well, not not immediately, but it, it might as well be. Um, that door there leads into his room. Um, there are some humanity sprites about, and I want to go fight some of them. Uh, I just want to see how many humanity sprites I can actually get before I go fight them. Uh, okay. Uh, 
Trying to swing at dudes in a tiny closed or tiny camp or cramped closed quarters is a bad idea with a weapon that requires you to swing like left and right like a maniac. Um, I also like just just in general I shouldn't be going to fight Manus because <laughs> he's terrifying and I only have two Estus flasks. I needed like eight. I needed like twelve, not eighteen. I needed twelve to fight Artorias, and Artorias apparently is way easier than a uh, uh, Manus, even though it took me like ninety tries to kill Artorias. Uh, although, with the method that I used, I went after him with my, uh, my, where is it, my Black Knight Sword plus five. I went after him, went after him with that and just beat his ass. Um, not as quickly as I would have liked, but I mean, like, I was just, I was just taking the hits where I could get him. Uh, okay, so we got some humanity, alrighty. Humanity. Also, there's a nice little exploit that if you stand around here, um, if I can spot him... Uh, you all see those tiny red dots in the corner there, right? Uh, that is Manus. You can, if you, uh, free aim a little bit, you can tag him with arrows from here. Uh, I'm bad at it, so I don't really know... Although it is how I killed him one time. Like, it's how I beat him my first time in here, because I didn't want to fight him. He's terrifying. I don't like him. Um, <laughs> you basically kill him, like, ten at a time, but, I mean, he can't hit you, so why not do it? I think this is it. Uh, whatever. I'm not even. I'm not gonna worry about it. No biggie. I'm just gonna equip my ring of life protection. Uh, we're just gonna go. We're gonna go have a crash course against Manus. We're gonna see how quickly we can die. Um, a uh. <laughs> Just to, uh, spoiler warnings. There we go, that's the word. Spoiler warnings. We're gonna die immediately. Um, I've never fought him. I've never fought him before. Like, I, I, I've never fought him at any range other than sh sniping him to death. So, this is, uh, it's gonna be an interesting round. An in interesting bout of getting my ass kicked. There's some dark flames and his giant grabby hand. He's a big fan of that grabby hand. Because that's what he used to pull me into the abyss, or pull me into the lost land of Ulysseel. Um, <clears throat> hey, Manus, what up, big guy? You can, uh, you can get his, uh, giant staff that he had in his, uh, I guess his right hand, his left hand is that giant grabby thing. You can get that, uh, when you kill him, or if you kill him, you can get that as a weapon. Okay, that didn't kill me immediately, I'm, I'm happy about that. I'm gonna throw this at you, see what it does. Nothing. Great. <laughs> Manus, you are terrifying and I don't like you. I'm surprised that didn't break my guard. Honestly. There it goes. Uh. There we go. <laughs> and that is me dead. Ring revival. There we go. That was Manus, everybody. <clears throat> uh, <laughs> the other uh, Ring of Sacrifice shattered. The other uh, choice I could have gone with is uh, Black Dragon Calamite, who I can't technically fight right now. Um, I think the way it works... Yeah, I think the way it works is you can get Hawkeye Goth to shoot Calamite's, or to shoot Calamite down, but only after you beat Manus. <sighs> Excuse me, so we're going to... We're going to kindle the bonfire a little bit, because I want some extra Estus flasks. Bam! <coughs> Even though they didn't really help at all, because, I mean, I died and I died immediately. I'm going to kindle it again. I'm going to kindle it the entire way. Sure, why not? Uh, I got tons of humanity phantoms. I ain't got nothing to worry about. Uh, or humanity sprites, rather. But, yeah, that was, uh... That's the abyss, everybody. Uh... I'm going to call this an episode. For those of you who are new, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe if you want to. But if not, carry on your merry way. But for the rest of you ramblers, I'll catch you on the next video, which I'm not entirely certain where I'll be. I'll probably... I'm either going to be fighting Nito, Manus, the Bed of Chaos, or, um, Sif's pet... or, uh, Artorius' pet wolf Sif. Um, haven't fully decided yet, though. Uh, probably going to be... probably going to be, uh, Manus. I want to beat... I want, I want to beat Manus before I go too far, even though it's not going to happen. But yeah, I'll see you next time, everybody. It's been fun. Bye!